put some patch on that tire. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy back with another video. We took a road trip in the ZL1, but it didn't turn out how we thought it was gonna turn out. Everybody passing by. They hitting their gas like they fast. No, the car not blown up. It's still running dry. So, the thing is, we got a flat. I tried using some fixer flat, but it's just leaking right out. I don't know how this fixer flat stuff works. I'm not, I don't know nothing about fixer flat. All I know about is spare tires, but this car don't come with a spare tire. This is my little brother. You wanna shout out to your Instagram? I don't wanna shout out my Instagram, but maybe later. Ah, man. Y'all know me later. Ah, ah. He being camera shy. But we in the middle of nowhere. We just passed up Shreveport. It was two hours and 30 minutes away from our destination. When all of a sudden, the check engine light, I mean, not the check engine light, the, the tire pressure gauge came on, saying that we have low tire pressure. So I pulled over, next thing you know, all you hear is So I fixed the first flat. Me and my brother fixed the first flat. So we, we driving, because we, we did fix the flat. So we start driving. We drove for literally five minutes. Five minutes. And then the tire went right back flat. So we pulled over, we tried it again. Now the tire don't want to hold air and it's the flicks of flat just leaking out. So I guess the hole too big. So my dad on his way, he about to bring us a, a plug. So we finna plug this tire up. Hopefully that could get me to my destination. I'ma park the car and in the morning, I'ma hit up a tire shop or whatever and get a new tire. But for now, I'm hot. I forgot how this this Louisiana weather is. It's real humid out here. But yeah, it's just a waiting game from here. I think my dad, he should be like 30 minutes away now. We've been out here for like five hours. We were supposed to get there at seven o'clock. Right now it's 8.15. So we are an hour behind and we still got two hours, two and a half hours left. So we ain't go, a six hour trip basically turned to a 12 hour trip. But that's the baby over there. Still looking beautiful as always. I'm hoping this AG Willow don't hit her because we're going to have a claim out the world. Oh, watch this big wide turn. Well, He's going to keep straight with it. I feel you. Yeah, we got the tank about to steal some gas like Fast and Furious. Little burnout. Little burnout. Little burnout. Little burnout. Oh, zero to 60. Zero to 60? Zero to 60, what you mean? That boy said, we don't do 10 speeds out here. We do 20 speeds. <laughs> that ball buff, that ball swole. Ball 16 years old looking like me out here. Yeah, hard body. But yeah, whenever we get the car up and running, I'll be back, so peace. I forgot it, right? I gotta see the shit. Just listen to the song. Two guy, one LE oh. slash ZL1. You hear me? Yeah. We're from the gray, from the Let's SS go. to the 10 speed, Let's no go. more six speed action. Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's go. on that tire, he's still gonna do it. <laughs> Man, that thing way faster than the old one. <laughs> Look all this fucking smoke. We just put some patch on that tire. What's up, y'all? I'm back. 
like a, the next is the next day from the beginning of the video. I got the car fixed, as y'all can see. Uh, my dad ended up coming. We plugged the tire up, and now the tire hood in there. So everything was going good, but I don't know for some reason when I hit my brake, the rear axle feels like it's shifting to one side, and I hear a squeaking noise when I hit bumps. So I'm gonna get that checked out. Uh, I don't want to really bring it to a dealership out here because I gotta leave in the morning, but I'm probably gonna just drive it back home because I mean I drove it on the highway and it rides fine, so I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. But I'll look at it in the morning to make sure it's all right. As y'all can tell, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I don't even, and it's only what 12 o'clock. Yeah, 11:45, and I'm tired. But anyway. Oh, you can't see the car from here, but I'm finna get in this hotel room, take a shower, and get ready for bed. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Yeah, y'all, so we back on the road, heading back to Texas. Uh, right now I'm averaging 19.1 miles to the gallon. It's not bad. I have five hours, five and a half hours left to go to get home. But I have to stop and pick my dog up first, and we have 382 miles. I just was, I just wanted to say, like, so I'm on I-49 and I noticed like they're pulling over a lot of the cops are pulling over a lot of people. Man, I just seen a white charger, an all white charger. It looked like a regular charger and pull somebody over. Like you would never think it was a cop. And that was in the oncoming lane going southbound. So I'm going northbound. I just seen a cop in the 2019 silver Chevy Silverado on the side of the road like he was broken. With his taser, with his laser, whatever, his radar. And then I pass him up, so I'm like, hold up. He really trying to catch somebody in a Silverado. And then I go up a little bit more, like a little bit ahead of him. There's a cop car, so I'm wondering, did he get out his cop car and get in a Silverado as a trap? Like, because if you see a Silverado on the side of the road, if somebody's speed, they won't slow down because it's not a cop car, it's a Silverado. Or, I don't know, it's just weird. Like, they really, like, cops are not protecting and serving no more. They, they just, they trying to catch you now. That's all it is. Like, that's crazy. I just wanted to say that, but yeah, it was, it was weird, but I'll hit y'all when I get a little bit closer to the house. So as y'all see here, we was averaging 17 and a half. But that's once I got here, it went down. But our best was 21 for the 50 mile and for the 25 mile, our best was 24.7 so I mean if you if you really easy on the throttle and you know what I mean you can get good gas mileage and keep in mind that this car have a cam a stage 2 cam so and a tune so I mean the gas mileage not that bad I had to fill up what well, every half a tank I filled up and right now I'm on a quarter tank every half a tank I had to fill up and it was what 40 bucks but I mean so I could get from Dallas, Texas to Lafayette, Louisiana, and probably like a tank and a half if I'm not overdoing it. But in my opinion, for a supercharged V8 that's tuned, 700 horsepower car, that's not bad at all. I mean, it could be better because, you know, I, towards the end I was ready to get home, so I was kind of rushing. But it wasn't that bad, honestly. Next time I'm gonna put E85 in it and <laughs> see how, how, how much that gonna take. But, oh, Nala pass gas. Nala, Nala, you stink. You stink, girl. What you been eating? You stink. We you, put your seatbelt on. Why tell you about riding in here without your seatbelt? But anyway, yeah, that's it for the road trip. I gotta bring the car to the dealership because I'm having trouble. I'm having problems with my rear end. I think one of my bolts is loose, either that or one of my brakes are warped. But other than that, it was successful. It was only a little six hour trip, so I didn't, I didn't vlog too much, I didn't film too much, cause I mean, there wasn't really nothing going on, nothing to see but trees, but trees and sky. But we'll have another, another road trip coming soon. So y'all stay tuned, peace.